let us look at those things that can be a hindrance, a blockage, a barrier between you and salvation and between you and God himself. What can be a barrier between me and my salvation today? You receive the mercy and with what we have seen and many deliverance and healing that have taken place, what can be the barrier between you and your salvation? But many of us will be like, oh, I've received salvation today, I'm free. But check. You need to ask yourself some questions. First, whom have you offended? Who has offended you? These are the two questions. So the way you treat that issue will determine what you are taking home. Ask your neighbor, who has offended you? Whom have you offended? Ask your neighbor, ask your neighbor again. The way you handle this matter determines what you are taking home. And there is huge blessing. Look at your table. Every essential of life is on the table before you. Every essential of life. Victory, salvation, healing, breakthrough, blessing, prosperity, everything. It's on the table. The Lord has set the table before you. But the way you handle this matters. Who has offended you? Whom have you offended? How you answer this question, the way you handle it will determine what is on the table. Hallelujah. Let's take a look at this test. We take our reading from the book of uh, Matthew 18, verse 21 to 22. And the collation, till verse 13. Bear with each other and forgive one another. If any one of you has a grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you. Forgive as the Lord what? I can hear you. We say, give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive those who were. This is what the Bible says. Take, take, take that verse 13. Again, I read. Bear with each other. Forgive one another. If any one of you has grievances against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all days, virtues, put on love. Put on love. Take note of that. Which bind them all together in perfect unity. In perfect unity. Take your time to read that verse 13. You take it from 13 to the end. And Matthew 18, verse 21 to 22. Hallelujah. So the question again. Who has offended you? And whom have you offended? As a Christian, regardless of the circumstances, whether you are wrong or right, whether you are the accuser or the accused, whether you are the offender or the offended. Take note of that. In order to live in the freedom that God desires for you, you must forgive and let go the offense.
Are you with me? You must what? And let go what? And let go the offense. I take it again. Regardless of the what? The circumstances. Whether you are right or wrong. As a Christian. Whether you are the accuser or the accused. Whether you are the offender or the offended. In order to live in the freedom that God desires for you, you must forgive. And let go the offense. But I don't want you to lose the whole, the whole blessing you have received today. People keep receiving blessing of getting back where? No way. Because of our attitude. You have a role to play. Your genuine willingness plus God's ability work. God simply commands us to forgive. Forgiveness is not an option. Uh, yeah, where, where? I like, mm, where? Where? It's over. Where, where? It's over. No, it's not an option. You either obey God by forgiving or disobey him by refuse to forgive. It's not an option. Okay. Okay, where? Well, it's over. Where? Well, it's over. No, it's not an option. So what are you taking home? Already God has given you the table full of joy, essential of life. Where are you going? Without forgiveness. Without forgiveness, it cannot be permanent. People will see you this week, next week, this month. Oh! beautiful, but the other week, the other month coming. Uh, what's wrong again? What is happening again? I thought everything was over as a result of unforgiving. Tell your neighbor, forgiveness is not an option. God simply commands us to forgive. Tell your neighbor, I can hear you. I know what is wrong. I know what is wrong. You want me to tell you what is wrong? You are going by what you see, what you hear, what your circumstances look like. Uh, look, this man slapped me. This man, this woman embarrassed me. No, I'll take him. You go by what you see. If you are led by your feelings, you will become ineffective for God. Tell your neighbor, if you are led by your feelings, you will become ineffective for God. Tell your neighbor, I can hear you. I can hear you. You know what I mean by feeling? What you are seeing, what you hear, what you feel. <laughs> I mean, circumstances around you, when there's no money in your pocket, this is because when there's money in your pocket, you will come to church. You dress well. When there's no petrol, no fuel in your car, or your car engine is knock, no church. You say, no, 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 we cannot go to church because our engine vehicle is knock. We can't come to church. Who gave you the car? Who gave you the vehicle? 
when there's food on the table, praise the Lord. When there's no food on the table, I watch people step, the, the manner people dance today. See, so people, do, when you go to them, they'll tell you they have testimony. But why some? When you ask them, they say, it's jobless, he has no job. We allow our feelings to control us. And when you allow your feelings, how things are going, how you feel, your circumstances around you to control you, you become ineffective for God. Useless instrument. So, over to you. You can know if you are going home with this good blessing. But right now, you can settle your account by determining your heart that, look, let me give you a call. Let me just say to them, hello, hello, how are you? Or send a text message, look, we are praying for you. You have the right, you deserve excellence, but you are not excellent. You want healing. What are the message? What is much better to receive or to maintain? <laughs> to receive or to maintain? <laughs> uh -huh. Look at the nation. Look at the whole world today. We lack maintainer. That is why we are suffering. Even you, you have received a lot of blessing from God, but you fail to maintain them. Even your children are home. God has given you the children but to maintain them. We are talking of maintainer, you are talking of blessing. So we are telling you how you can maintain your life. So when you get back home, what you need to do, the reason why you have not been enjoying this dividend of Christianity, we are asking you these two questions, how you can handle them. Who has offended you? Whom have you offended? How do you handle this matter? These are the reasons why you, you, the blessing you receive every day from God, being robbed. <laughs> Hallelujah. During the prayer, we can have this solved. Okay, we are, just, we are just trying to chat now. The person talking to you now is Mr. T.B. Joshua. The prophet will take over immediately. Thank you. And let's rise up for prayer. Our heart is a communication point. Say to yourself, my heart is a communication point. Es el punto de I mean the contact point. El punto de right now, right now, right now, release, release, release yourself. Release mm -hmm. yourself. My heart is a communication point. Contact point. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All spirit operating your life. Right now, open your lips, open your lips. All spirit operating in your life. You know those challenges you have? The spirit of setback. That setback, that, that disappointment. Right now, open your list. All spirits operating your life. Open your list, open your list, open your list. Command them to come out right now. Command them to come out right now. Command them to come out right now. Command them to come out now. Come out right now. You devil. 
I command you to remove your hand from my people. You devil, I command you to remove your hand from my people. You devil, I command you to remove your hand from my people. Let there be deliverance. Let there be deliverance. Let there be deliverance. Let there be deliverance. I command you to remove your hand from my people. Your hands of affliction. Say remove. Your hands of setback. Your hands of failure. Mano de fracaso. Your hands of stagnation. Mano de estancamiento. In the name of Jesus Christ. En nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus Christ. En nombre de Jesucristo. In the name of Jesus Christ. En nombre de Jesucristo. In the name of Jesus Christ. En nombre de Jesucristo. If there's any strange spirit within, hear the voice of God. You are commanded to come out right now. 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 That damaged organ begin to fortune in the name of Jesus. Begin to fortune in the name of Jesus. Begin to fortune in the name of Jesus. Every damaged organ. Say, begin to fortune in the name of Jesus. You see a man that the air has been deaf. I call it deafness. Right from the birth. Today, he can hear. So right now, listen to me. Every damaged organ, be it your blood, be it your kidney, be it your liver, be it your liver, be it your bone. Right now, say, begin to function in the name of Jesus. Command it. Open your lips. 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 Abra sus labios, empieza a ordenar todo órgano todo que no esté funcionando, empiece a funcionar en el nombre de Jesús. Todo órgano dañado, empiece a funcionar. Begin to function in the name of Jesus. Empiece a funcionar. Begin to function in the name of Jesus. Begin to function in the name of Jesus. Empiece a funcionar. Begin to function in the name of Jesus. Empiece a funcionar. Begin to function in the name of Jesus. Empiece a funcionar. Pray for your country, raise your flag, whatever you have as a contact point. Pray for your country. Pray for your country, pray for your country, pray for your country, pray for your nation. Redeem my nation, Lord. Redeem my leader. Redeem my nation. In the name of Jesus Christ. I can hear you. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Ask God to intervene in your economy, in your politics. In your culture, ask God to intervene. Lord, come and intervene. 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 Interviene. Intervene. Interviene. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. I can hear you. Right now, your journey back. Right your journey. Ask God to strengthen you. Lord, strengthen me. Ask God to strengthen you. Enable me. Enable me. Make me your channel. Your channel of love. Where there's hate. Lord Jesus, 
Señor Jesús. Make me your channel. Hazme tu canal. Your channel of faithfulness. De fidelidad. Where there is unfaithfulness. Donde hay infidelidad. Your channel of obedience. Tu canal de obediencia. Where there is disobedience. Donde hay desobediencia. Your channel of humility. Tu canal de humildad. Where there is pride. Donde hay orgullo. Your channel of light. Tu canal de luz. Where there is darkness. Donde hay oscuridad. Open your lips. Ask God. Ask God. Ask God. Your righteous journey. Your righteous journey. Enable me, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen.